Pixel and this is the Huawei Mate 10. It's got a new camera set up with a dual camera with f1.6 lenses around the back. It's the first that we've seen from any manufacturer with such an incredible aperture across both rear cameras. The fundamental setup is similar to what we've seen in the Huawei P10, P10 Plus and the Mate 9 which I've got here. You can see side by side though the Mate 10 is significantly, I hate using this word for technology, but significantly sexier. Yeah it is because it's got that glass back, 18 by 9 aspect ratio screen means it's got a way way slimmer profile. It just is very very good looking. So you've got a primary 12 megapixel camera that records color, photos, videos etc. And then you've got the secondary 20 megapixel camera which is monochrome. Anyone who doesn't know anything about monochrome photography, if you've got a monochrome sensor the pixels are actually bigger because you don't have to have room for a red, green and a blue, you've just got the black and the white. So it gets more light in, therefore monochrome photography it's better in low light. So these Huawei phones do a lot more than a lot of people give them credit for. Right, firing up the camera application and you can see it takes pretty much the full screen right here. To the right you've got navigation which you can actually hide and swipe back in and to the left you've got some options and that starts off with a flash. You've got the wide aperture mode that we've seen before um, which when you tap through on it widens out the shot nicely. It's an 18, it moves into a four by three aspect ratio and then you can pull something into frame, take your picture and it has a nice blurred background, sharp foreground. I can retrospectively edit that after having taken my shot. While well, I introduced the dual camera kind of depth effect feature, so it's no surprise that it works so fluidly um, as it does on the Huawei Mate 10. Right, let's get to the portrait mode. I'm not gonna actually demo this on myself right now, but portrait mode does have blurry background, sharp foreground while applying beauty effects. And you've also got something that we've seen in Apple devices and Samsung devices, moving pictures, which doesn't really tickle me pink, but it might tickle you. You've also got options to change from smooth colors, vivid colors, and standard. I'm gonna go standard and flip around, hey, selfie time. And you can also apply that portrait mode to selfies as well. If I swipe into the left-hand side, you can see all of the shooting modes that we've got, and there are a ton. Photo, monochrome, and it is native monochrome, it's in monochrome um, from the monochrome sensor. Video, HDR, light painting, night shot, panorama, 3D, time-lapse, slow-mo, filter, watermark, document scan, and more. Swipe in from the right hand side, you can see all the resolution options it supports. Nine megapixels is the default. You can also shoot in, 20, in 12 megapixels um, as well. And monochrome, I think, would take you up to 20 megapixels, given the fact there's that 20 megapixel sensor there. Um, what's cool is you've also got something of a lossless zoom. It isn't really optical zoom, but because it's grabbing the detail information from the 20 megapixel monochrome sensor and the color information from the RGB sensor, it's able to zoom in without creating too much loss. So we can tap through on that take the picture, sharpening the shot, please hold the device steady, and that looks like a pretty sweet shot considering there was that level of digital zoom in place. Can pinch all the way out. What I really like about Huawei devices, uh, specifically the P10 and Mate device range, is you can swipe in from the right hand side and that activates a promo that was introduced in the P9. Swipe in again, you can see you can add watermarks, have an assistive grid, touch to capture, capture smiles, object tracking, volume buttons, ultra snapshot. So from the offset, the Huawei Mate 10 camera UI looks and feels pretty sweet but it is all going to come down to real world use and so I'm going to be testing this really really thoroughly. If there's anything that you do want me to test out via questions, thoughts, feelings in the comments section below and I will do my very best to answer. If you enjoyed this video and are enjoying all our Huawei Mate 10 content, subscribe to the channel. It's how you stay on